Welcome to my final Vlogmas of 2021. I want to just welcome everybody to my final Vlogmas of the year. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you all of the things I learned about myself and you doing Vlogmas this year. And then as promised, I'm going to show you a time-lapse progression of all of the gifts appearing under my Christmas tree. I am finished wrapping. Who I am finally done and I'm so excited about it and I think you're really gonna enjoy my time lapse. One of the first things I learned doing Vlogmas and I thought going into this process, yes, I know it's a video a day. Yes, I know I have to record every day and edit and upload and answer comments, but I truly didn't understand until a couple days in what that really meant. I had to dedicate so much more time than I allotted myself to do a video a day. It truly was so much work and that was something I wasn't expecting. You all know that I'm super organized. I planned ahead. I showed you my spreadsheet. Really underestimated the time commitment to get Vlogmas done every single day. So now I know for future Vlogmas what to expect. And through uploading videos every day, I have learned who my true tribe is, my ride or die, and it is you. You're the people watching this video today. My final Vlogmas video, you're my ride or die. Y'all are my kind of people. And what I mean by that is pretty much consistently, every single video that I released got anywhere between eight and 10,000. I think one of them had 12,000 views on every single video. And that tells me there are eight to 10,000 of you that are gonna watch my videos, doesn't matter what I talk about, it doesn't matter the subject, it doesn't matter the content, it doesn't matter how bad my editing is in a video, y'all are my true ride or die. You are my tribe and I love every one of you for that. Something else I learned about myself is I ran out of steam. Oh, I did about a week ago. I don't know if you all even noticed, but my editing got a little sloppy. I didn't mean for it to. Let me just tell you all this. You probably don't know this. Every night when Randy and I watch our show sitting on the couch, we watch that day's Vlogmas video together. And I noticed watching them after I had stepped away from my videos that I had made some editing mistakes or just kind of sloppy editing. There's really no other way to put it. I just kind of did run out of steam. And I learned something about other YouTubers during Vlogmas. When I decided to do Vlogmas, Vlogmas should be about holiday content, Christmas content, family holiday content. Everything should revolve around Christmas and the holidays. So that is how I based my videos. The only video that didn't have something to do with the holidays was the video where I gave you all an update on us, letting you know we were okay after the tornado touched down just a couple miles from our home. That is the only video that I released that was not holiday related. But I quickly learned that so many other YouTubers, and honestly, the majority of other YouTubers didn't even release Christmas content. Their Vlogmas was just about whatever, just whatever they wanted to talk about. They just did their regular stuff, but released a video a day instead of making their Vlogmas content holiday related. You all let me know that in the comments. I noticed it when I started watching my favorite YouTubers. They were just talking about whatever. And I love the fact that you all thanked me for sticking to the topic and making all of my Vlogmas videos about the holidays. And, and that's what I wanted to do and I'm glad that I stuck true to that and thank you for recognizing that. Now, what did I learn about you? I learned that you love when I cook. You love my cooking videos. You love my recipes. So coming up in 2022, I promise to do a lot more of that. Up until now, I've just kind of done cooking videos kind of when I wanted to. I realized that you all love my cooking videos and so I will do more of them. I will set aside time to, to give you all more recipes. One of the reasons that I haven't done more cooking videos is because they take forever to film. Oh my goodness, one simple little recipe that if it was just me in my, in my kitchen cooking, I could whip it out in 30 minutes. To make a video of that recipe takes hours, sometimes two and three and four hours. It really is 
a super long process, but I promise because you love it and you let me know you love it, I will share more recipes with you. I also learned that so many of you all are alone at the holidays. I know everybody has their own life story and their own reason why you are alone at the holidays, and I recognize the fact that I am so blessed to have a huge family, a family that lives near me, that we all get together, and I realized that I'm very lucky that I had my family and friends at the holidays. I was truly honored when you all let me know that I sort of became your family, that you enjoyed me coming into your home every day, you enjoyed watching my videos, you felt like I, y'all are gonna make me tear up. You truly felt that I invited you into my home. Wow. I didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> I'm just very appreciative that you let me into your home and that you enjoyed becoming part of my family at the holidays. I am so glad that you were here. I enjoyed having you here. I enjoyed talking to every one of you all every single day. And I want you to know that when I record videos, yes, I'm sitting here by myself talking to my camera, but I truly am talking to you. In my head, I see the names and the usernames of all of you, all of my ride or die people. And I know that you're gonna comment. I know your tone of voice. I know who's gonna watch me first. I know what time of day the comments are gonna come in. And I've just become to know you. You have become my friends. And so you are always welcome in my home at the holidays. Something else I learned about you during Vlogmas, y'all are crazy about craving the curls. You really enjoyed seeing all of the content from inside my ice cream shop. And over the last three years on my channel, I've shown you just a little bit of that, but I really showed you behind the scenes during Vlogmas, and you seemed to really enjoy seeing what was going on in Craving the Curls. So I will continue that. There is something always going on at Craving the Curls, and so I will share that with you. I would love to share that with you. I'm excited about my business. I love my little ice cream shop. I love that you love my ice cream shop, and so I'll certainly continue to share that with you. And I wanna say thank you to so many of you. Came to Craving the Curls to get ice cream, to meet me, to say hello. Either you made it a specific point to drive to Paducah, or you just happen to be passing through. You sent Christmas cards and gifts to the ice cream shop, and I truly want to say thank you. I appreciate that so, so much. And anytime you're ever in Paducah, come on by. I would love to meet you. I would love to chat with every single one of you. And you know, honestly, I'll tell you something. I have thought about hosting an ice cream social at Craving the Curls in Paducah, but I just, yeah, I know you all live all over the world. I just don't know if that's asking too much for you all to travel to Paducah for some kind of ice cream event. But I think in the future that could be so much fun. All of us could get together, we could come to Craving the Curls for ice cream, and we could just chat it up. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments. Is it is that crazy? I mean, it, it really, is that a crazy idea? Is that something that you could do? Is that a trip that you'd be willing to make? I mean, I don't know. This is just an idea in my head, and I've been thinking about it for a long time. I've talked to Randy about it, and I just think it would be fun. I kind of want to do it, so let me know what you think. And I think the main thing, the number one thing that I have learned doing Vlogmas is that you all are so generous so incredibly generous. You all have sent gifts to my home for Pollux and Maxi. You've sent gifts to me and my family. You made monetary donations to the animal shelter that was hit by the tornado in our area. I'm just, I'm just a gal that comes to you on your TV. I know you know me through YouTube, but for you all to reach out and take time out of your day to leave comments for me, or to spend your hard-earned money to send me a gift or send me a card or to make a donation to something in my community, I really want to say thank you. Please know it does not go unnoticed. I appreciate everything that you all do and I just, the generosity of you all on my channel is, is just, it just blows me over. So thank you so much. And because you're seeing this video on Thursday, December the 24th, 
I do want to let you know that I'm ending Vlogmas here. There's not going to be a video on the 25th because I have Christmas things to do. I have family that I want to see and friends that I want to get together with. Randy and I are going out tonight, in fact, for a big Christmas event and I just want to be able to put down my camera and enjoy my family and my friends and the holidays. And so you will see me back on my normal YouTube schedule every Tuesday and every Friday starting next week on Tuesday, December the 28th. That's when my next regular video will be released. And I don't know what it's going to be about. I truly don't know. This weekend, during the Christmas holidays, I'm just going to kind of turn off my brain and turn off my camera and enjoy my family. And we'll see what I come up with for Tuesday. And then, as promised, a time-lapse progression of all of the gifts appearing under my Christmas tree. <laughs> forever to film and edit that little time lapse so you can see the growing of my Christmas tree. And honestly, we have so many stinking gifts under here because I have to buy gifts that we take to Randy's family for all of us. I have to get the gifts that I take to my parents' house for all of us. We have family that comes to our house on Christmas Eve and then the rest of the gifts are to you know randy and i give to each other randy gives me christmas gifts every single year and i give him gifts we do exchange gifts brecken has gifts under the tree brecken's boyfriend has gifts under the tree and sadly you know kendall and tebow are not here this year for christmas so i've already sent their gifts to them they're in los angeles but they opened their gifts on facetime with us right before they left so this is our christmas tree it is overflowing with gifts and i hope you enjoyed the time lapse Thank you so much for following me on Vlogmas. I have enjoyed having you in my home. I've enjoyed being in your home this year. And I will see you next week on December the 28th. Have a very Merry Christmas. And I hope that you can spend time with your friends and family and the people that you love. I'll see you next week.